Hi, this is Jack from Achievers, the best place to learn A-level H2 math. In my experience, when it comes to planning their revision during the June holiday, a lot of final year students don't set themselves goals that are big enough. And by a big goal, I don't mean trying to cram as many topics as possible within a span of a month. I mean seeing the big picture and being forward thinking enough to do a tactical revision on a manageable number of topics for now and revise each topic as thoroughly as possible despite a full-scale mid-year exam on the horizon right after the June holidays. Especially if you are a student who has been failing your A-level math, then Attempting to revise too many topics in too little time will most likely lead you to another round of failure, not just in terms of the exam scores, but failure to make your holiday revision meaningful. So if you have not been doing that well for your A-level H2 math, what you should do is to plan your revision strategically by setting your sight on the end of year prelim and A-levels instead of uh, getting yourself distracted by the mid-year exam. Use this upcoming holiday to revise as thoroughly as possible just a portion of the syllabus because what you need is actually to give yourself that strong foothold so that it can be used to springboard you to the next portion of the syllabus right after the mid-year exam. Some students think that having a month-long holiday is sufficient to revise for the entire h 2 math syllabus. But if you think about how many topics there are in h 2 math and together with other subjects that you will need to revise, it boils down to maybe just one to two hours spent on each h 2 math topic. And it's not as if we are going to be 100% productive for this one to two hours. Such plan will already be a stretch for stronger math students. So how can this be enough time for students who has been failing h 2 math all this while? If you have not been doing well for your A-level H2 math, I suggest you aim to study super hard for just 50% of the pure math topics and all the statistics topics that you are going to be tested in your mid-year exam. Be super determined to study them so, so thoroughly and although most likely you will end up not doing that well for your mid-year exams overall, but your main objective is to see the jump in those topics that you have studied. Then for those topics that you didn't get a chance to study this holiday, be even more determined to master them right after your mid-year exams, but before the end of year exams. Make this your non-negotiable goal for topics you have scheduled to study so that you can be confident enough to do this again when you revise for the rest of the syllabus. Um, Mad Achievers, we are holding a series of pure math topical revision and we are going very, very in-depth and thorough this upcoming holiday. We are covering many topics and although I am expecting my students to attend as many of the sessions as possible, I don't expect everyone to study hard for every single one of these topics. My suggestion remain the same especially for weaker math students, which is to focus on just 50% of the pure math topics and 100% of the statistics topics that they are going to be tested for their mid-year exam. And because all our sessions are going to be recorded and shared to the students, they can be assured that they will still be able to revise for the rest of the topics with the exact depth and quality once they are done with their mid-year exams. I believe by strategically planning for a realistic revision, spreading it out for the entire semester too, and placing quality and depth as the utmost priority, instead of being over ambitious and cramming everything into June, we will be able to have the most fruitful round of revision.